Hey crafty friends, I'm back and today I'm going to be using my card sentiment dies with our brand new free printables for lovey or Valentine's Day. Um, I have some great sayings here that we came up with and um, some of them, uh, they coordinate with the these smaller uh, rectangle dies. So these ones rec coordinate with the rectangle ones here. Um, either one would do. Um, or this one, I love this saying, it says, we may not have it all together, but together we have it all. <laughs> How cute is that? Or you could use the um, gift tag horizontally on these ones. So I also have some classic Valentine's Day ones, but also some basic ones as well. So these ones uh, coordinate with the longest card sentiment die in the pack. So um, I have this one, two different fonts. One's kind of cursive and the other one's nice and plain. And then this one coordinates with our ribbon in the pack here, so the ribbon die. And um, they fit really nice. And again, I have a couple of classic Valentine Day sayings, but the others are um, somewhat lovey, but also there's some in there that could be used. Um, just in general, I was trying to think also of like this one, you make my heart sing. How cute is that for even like nieces, nephews, grandkids, stuff like that, if you'd want to make Valentine's Day cards for them. So let's start out with some of these here, these uh, longer ones. I like the long ones for the ribbons. I like the Happy Valentine's Day. I might just cut a few of these out. So all you do is cut on that dotted line that I made, and this is good for a six inch opening so I have my Sizzix Big Shot. Um, if you have something smaller you could just trim it smaller than that um, but yeah it'll work great with any size die cutting machine since these are um, smaller dies that we're using to coordinate. And what's so great about this is we don't even have to worry about stamping or anything. So here's the classic Happy Valentine's Day. And look how nicely, if I can get it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Happy Valentine's Day. It's nice and thick. I actually printed this on a little bit of cardstock, the shimmer cardstock that I have. That's 8.5 by 11. It fits right in my printer. Um, so all you have to do is download these and then you print them out and cut them as much as you like. And here's another one. I really loved this um, kind of dainty cursive font and I wanted to give you guys different options as well. If you're somebody who loves to plan out your card making, you could also use the longer die for these ones as well. But anyway, if you're somebody who likes to plan out your card making, this is a great way to just cut them all out at once. I'm not going to do that here, um, but I just wanted to cut out a few that I could use and make a couple cards with you guys and just show you, give you some inspiration. Um, but you could definitely cut all these out and then put them aside and save them for a rainy day. And, um, you know, you definitely don't have to make all of them all at once here. You get quite a few sayings, um, three different sizes. And I really like these, uh, wider sayings as well. And I decided why not just cut three out at the same time. So I'm going to use one on the uh, gift tag as well. I figured why not. And maybe I'll make a card with that one. Um, and then I have two of the rectangular, uh, two, the two separate rectangle dies that you do receive in the card sentiment dies pack as well. This one was a little bit harder to run through because we have both those dies in, but it fit very well or it worked well and cuts out nicely. There's that. You're the key to my heart. Um, and that's that cute saying. And then this is the, you make the world a better place, which I think would be perfect for a kid or, you know, anybody in your life, just a friend. So here's all our sentiments. Um, and then I decided, you know, I do want to cut out another ribbon, but I wanted to do it the other way so that the tail of the ribbon was on the left side and not the right side. So I'm just doing that. So feel free to cut these however you like. And there's some smaller sayings on there. So you could, you know, coordinate it with the tag. How cute is that? And you can kind of move the uh, d the dies around to make it fit to your liking. So here I have some washi. I just wanted to show you another fun technique I love using with my dies. Um, any dies really, but um, here I figured I would get some decorative washi. And I would coordinate, since I have a few of the ribbon ones, you could use that longer one as a background, but I'm going to cut out some of these in the ribbon. So it gives you just these really beautiful decorative ribbons that you can use for your card making. So just trimming this down so it'll fit in my die cutting machine, running this through, and now I have this really beautiful decorative ribbon with this washi tape. And when you run it through with your die um, with the washi tape after, the washi tape I feel sticks a lot better so you could definitely do something like that with like a layered tag or something and I have this wonderful pattern paper I've been using um, 
And I'm just gonna grab this purple I really like, and I think that'll be really nice and simple. Uh, you know, these cutouts make it really easy uh, to be able to just make any type of card you want without having to fuss with any ink, really. Um, so of course you're gonna wanna use the die cuts, but I just find it nice and simple to use it this way. So I picked my two card bases, and this is our largest die in the card sentiment die pack, the A2 liner. And I'm going to put some washi, sorry, I'm a little out of the camera here, but it'll, you'll see it here. Um, put some washi on the bottom of my cardstock. This is another one of my favorite techniques to do with our dies, is put washi on the bottom um, of the decorative liner. And then normally I would put it on the inside of the card so it matches the outside, which I'll probably do for the inside of this card eventually, but I wanted to show you how to do this for the outside of your card as well. And again, when we put that washi tape on there and there's that stitched edging, and you can't see it as well with this one because of the pattern, but if you do it on white paper, it's super beautiful. And it fits, it um, stays really nicely. So I cut out my purple as well since I had my dye machine out. And I decided I'm just going to kind of play around with the ribbons here. And I love this cute little dainty cursive saying. Um, so I'm probably going to use this one. We may not have it all together, but together we have it all, which I think is just super cute. So I just have my tape runner here from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. And I'm just going to put this on. I don't think I did it straight, <laughs> but you could definitely get a little ruler and make sure you put it on straight. I'm not huge on measuring, um, but it's kind of fitting with the saying, right? That's how I that's how I like to spin it for myself. So that looks cool. I think I like the the different color combos, the plaid with like the floral. I know I'm putting a couple of foam dots. These larger ones work perfectly with our medium sized card sentiment dies. And just putting that on, and what a cute and simple card cover. There we go, that looks great. I just love that. So I'll put that on a card base, but we have those really pretty decorative ribbons that we used with our dies as well. And then the, the Valentine's or Love cutouts that we are free printables that we have. So this one, I wasn't really sure exactly what I wanted to do, but I kind of wanted to do a stacking. Um, one of my crafty friends, Margie, she made a uh, Christmas card and did like the ribbons um, stacking with our Christmas free printables. And it was so cute. And I think I got a little inspired by that here. And then I decided I liked that font to match like the bottom ribbon instead of the Happy Valentine's Day. I did the Love You the Most. Um, so uh, kind of just trying to figure out where I want to place them, and then I decided maybe I put them straight, um, but I'm a big fan of the ribbons today. <laughs> um, but that looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to glue this one down so I have the washi that matches the coordinating washi at the bottom of my card, and then I'm going to do this love you the most, and I decided I'm going to layer it right on that decorative piece so it adds just a little something I don't know I liked it a little better and for this middle one I decided to put on a little bit of foam and those smaller um those smaller foam ones work perfect for the ribbon die so that's great and then I'm just going to tape this one down so it's kind of like every other one so I, I yeah I like the way this one turned out I thought that was kind of fun and unique it's a lot of florals a lot of different colors but um it looks great together I think so now I'm just grabbing a couple of plain sheets from the A2 uh, card base paper pack. And so these are eight and a half by 11. And I have this light blue here that I felt would look good. I do like that with that coralish color and all the floral, blue florals and stuff we have. And then I just have plain white for my purple one. And I'm not gonna complete the inside of our cards today, but I, cause I just wanted to show you a little bit of inspiration here but I know it's gonna be so simple to finish the inside because I have all these other printables and all the different sayings I can use. And you can definitely use them with some ink. You could ink the background of them a little bit. That's what I'll probably do for this purple one is put a little purple like on this um, to pop against the uh, white. And then here I'm just adhering my card base onto the blue for my coral card here. Just opening my card up. I like to do that to make sure it's all lined up well. And that looks just about right there perfect and so yeah here is these two cards I just made um, with our free printables and then you could easily put even more printables on the inside for um, more sayings we have so many sayings here for you guys and that's how you use our new free printables with our card sentiment dies don't forget to pick those up today thanks for watching mm -hmm.